Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about this breadboard power supply module. More specifically, I'm going to go over the anatomy of the board, going over what each part is responsible for. And then I'm going to do a quick demo using my multimeter so that way you guys could see the various voltage outputs. So this module is designed to fit directly onto your breadboard like this and with a external DC power supply it's going to convert that into either 5.5 volts or 3.3 volts allowing you to power uh, both of your rails. So this right here is your DC input and if you look at the data sheet uh, this requires a minimum of 6.5 volts and a maximum of 12 volts. So this is your on off button. This determines whether your entire board is on or off. And this is the LED indicator which will indicate if uh, your board is on or not. This right here is your USB output. So if you need to power something via USB, say like a micro USB device, then you would plug in your USB cable into here and it's going to supply 5 volts. These are your two power rails and you have the option of either switching it to 5 volts, 3.3 volts or completely off and same thing for here. And the good thing about this is you could have two different rails, one for 5 volts and one for 3.3 volts so that way you could power different modules that require different voltages. And this right here is the direct uh, connections so you could get 3.3 volts or 5 volts directly. So these two right here is the voltage regulator chips. More specifically, they're the AMS1117. This one is the 5 volts regulator and this one is the 3.3 volt regulator. Okay, so for this demo, I'm gonna be using my 9 volt power supply and I'll plug that in right now. And I also have my multimeter set up, so I'll turn that on. And I've already grounded both rails together and this is going to be my multimeter input. So first I'm going to show you the USB output. So I'll go ahead and plug this USB in. For the ground, I'll connect the ground to here and I'll connect the power here. Okay, so you can see that it's outputting 5 volts and this is a constant 5 volts that's always on unless you turn off the entire module. Okay, next I want to demo these two rails. So this one right here is already set at 5 volts and this one right here is set at 3.3 volts. This one should give you 5 volts and this rail will give you 3.3 volts. And again, you could change the voltage using these connector pins right here. So for example, if I wanted this rail to be 5 volts, all I have to do is switch it to the 5 volts. And if I wanted this rail to be completely off, I will put the connector in the middle and that's gonna completely shut off this entire rail. And same thing applies for this side. Okay, so these are your direct power connections that has two 3.3 volts and two 5.5 volts. And to demo this, I'm gonna be using a male to female jumper wire and I'll first show the 5 volts and then the 3.3 volts and one thing I wanted to mention is that if you need more power slots while this is off you still have access to the 3.31 volts and also the 5 volts as well so if you need more pins you could use these Okay, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section below.